this nifty little device I've got strapped to my wrist is the Sony Ericsson Live View. It's a wearable wireless Bluetooth accessory for your Android mobile phone. So you may be thinking, how does that work? Well, you download an app to your smartphone. Uh, here I've got the Sony Xperia X10, anything that runs Android 2.0 or above. So once you've downloaded the app from the Android market, you simply pair the Live View with your mobile phone and it syncs automatically. So when you receive a text message, you have a missed call, for example, someone updates their Facebook status or as a Twitter update, then the Live View vibrates slightly and flashes one of its LEDs at you. So rather than having to take your bulky mobile phone out of your pocket each time someone calls you or texts you, say, you can just look at the live view on your wrist and it will tell you everything that's going on without having, you having to use the large screen of your mobile. So the live view itself has a 1.3 inch OLED screen. Now it's a touch screen but not in a traditional sense. You don't actually touch the actual display. It's more the black border around the edges that you actually touch. So at its most basic, the live view does function as a watch. Once you've synced it to your mobile phone, it can pull down the time and date and display them on the screen. Most of the time it will be in standby, which means there'll be nothing displayed on the screen. So just to bring up the time, you just click the power button. Then the other button brings you up the menu system and you can scroll using the touch screen between your texts, your emails, Twitter, Facebook, RSS feeds and other functions. One additional nice feature of the Sony Ericsson Live View is it can act as a remote control for your media player on your Android phone. If you just hold down one of the buttons for a little while, then it should start playing immediately directly from the phone. So on the screen of the Live View, it comes up with the media player, and then it comes out, it starts the media player function and will start the track playing. And you've got the usual skip and volume controls by touching the black border of the Live View. And if you're the sort of person that's ever lost your mobile phone down the back of the sofa, say, and you've tried calling it to find out where it is, you don't need to do that anymore. With the live view, it's got a find phone feature. So if I try that now, it starts your phone beeping like that. And it says on the screen, here I am. So a nice little nifty way to find your lost phone. So each time you get a tweet on your mobile, it will vibrate on your wrist. Then you can simply scroll through and it'll tell you the number of alerts of each type you've got. So if you had five missed calls, 20 text messages, and five uh, Twitter updates. On the screen of the live view, after it's vibrated, it shows you clearly how many tweets you've got unread. And then you can simply read them on the small screen of the live view, scroll through them, and then at the bottom of them, you can press the button and it will actually load Twitter directly on your mobile phone. So you can read more on the large screen of your mobile and then click through on any links. So this the live view is mainly for alerting you to messages rather than actually acting on them or actually creating any messages. But I have got a few reservations about the Sony Ericsson live view. For a start, battery life. It's got a claimed battery life of around four hours. And after that, of course, you'll need to plug it into the micro USB socket on the device to actually recharge it. And it hasn't been without its problems. I mean, I've found it been, it's been crashing quite a lot. I've had to repair it with the device. Even to use it as a watch, you have to actually get it to sync with the phone. So even when you're not using it for Twitter updates, for example, you will have to keep it near your phone to actually make any use of it at all. And of course, to get any updates at all to the live view, you'll have to keep the app running on your smartphone. And I found, again, that's slightly buggy sometimes. It can slow your phone down. For reviews of hundreds of mobile devices and to compare tariffs and pricing, go to which.co.uk forward slash mobile.